Greetings, everyone. I first invite our principal, sir, to come forward for the lighting of the candle, and I also request Sunday school teachers, Mr. Mudyal and Ms. Jovikali, to assist him. Thank you, sir. Good morning, one and all. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I welcome you all to this occasional children's day service. I hope and pray that we will have a blessed and meaningful service together. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them. For it is to such as this that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Matthew chapter 19, verse 14. Now I invite Sister Lauren Hui for opening prayer. Let us bow down our heads and look to God in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as children of you, we gather together to worship you. Please fill us with your Holy Spirit with us. We submit ourselves in your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us all rise up and sing the song, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. Page number two six three eight. Page number two sixty five.
Now I call Sister Laurin Louis for responsive reading. Let us turn to our college hymn book, page number 333. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. He will make me lie down in green pastures. He will refresh my soul. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You spread a table before me in the face of those who trouble me. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life. Glory be to the Father of the Son and through the Holy Spirit. Now I invite Hindi Sunday School group to present their special song. Meanwhile, offering will be collected and I request Aviva for the offertory prayer.
Jesus Christ, only Father, Lord Jesus, accept and bless us of it. Jesus name, Amen. I invite Matthew Halder for the response uh, for the pastoral prayer. Shall we look to God in prayer? Let us pray. Most holy and merciful God, we thank you wholeheartedly for allowing us to celebrate the Children's Sunday on this very auspicious day. We plead you, dear Lord, to receive us as we are and accept our entire worship of this morning before the throne of your grace and mercy. We thank you for the Sunday School Ministry of our Sirampur College and all its teachers and administration. Bless our historic Sirampur College with the Faculty of Theology, Arts, Science, and Commerce and its principal, vice principals faculty members, non-teaching staff, all the students and family members. Bless also the Senate of our college, Satri, all other fraternities, and all affiliated colleges. Continue to bless the renovation works and new development plans of our college. We now pray for all those who are sick in our community. Touch them, O Lord, and restore them to good and complete health very soon. Bless all those who need your strength, comfort, courage, perseverance, encouragement, and guidance in the time of weakness, loss, disappointment, distraction, and uncertainty. We also pray for the peace in the whole world and in our country. Grant your permanent peace and tranquility in the matters of Israel and Palestine, in Ukraine and Russia, in Manipur and Haryana, and other places. Protect your entire creation and all your people who are suffering from different natural calamities, accidents, and violence. We also pray for your mercy and forgiveness upon every one of us as we have committed mistakes knowingly or unknowingly against you and against our guardians and fellow brothers and sisters. We acknowledge that we had shown negligence, dishonor, disobedience, misconduct, and wrongdoing through our words and deeds. Forgive us, O merciful God, and blot out all our sins and guilty feelings and restore us to the newness and happiness of life. On this Children's Sunday, we pray for all the dear children of our community, of our country and of the whole world. Grant all the children with your wisdom to do well in their studies and shower your blessings in their daily activities. Bless all the children who do not have parents, homes, sufficient food, clothing, and other essential things of daily life that they may also be able to live with love, care, satisfaction, and happiness. Protect all the children who are victims of child labor, human trafficking, domestic violence, etc., and grant solution to all such problems. We pray all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To present memory verse, I invite in the Sunday School group First, after which the Hindi Sunday School group will present their memory verse.
not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. I invite Mr. Matthew Halder for the scripture reading. Please stand for the gospel reading. The Lord be with you. The holy gospel reading is taken from the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. Mark 10, beginning to read at the 13th verse. And they were bringing the children to him, that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, saying, laying his hands on them. This is the gospel of Christ. Please be seated. Now I invite English Sunday School group to present their short skit.
Now I invite today preacher Miss Kayla Rinzami to take her time. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this special Sunday, I feel blessed to stand before you and share a short sermon on the topic, Jesus and Children. It benefits our occasion, and this topic is also close to the heart of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In our selected text, Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. These profound words from Jesus illuminates the value he places on children. They also reveal the importance Why did Jesus give so much importance to children? This is because children approach life with open hearts, unburdened by skepticism or hardened spirits. In the eyes of Jesus, children represent pure faith, unclouded by doubt. Their innocent, te their innocent trust teaches us that faith is not just an abstract concept, but the true force that binds us to God in our spiritual journey. In simple language, children embody qualities that adults should, should strive to cultivate within themselves. In the selected text, we witness a scene where children were coming to Jesus. There was a crowd of people around Jesus. Maybe they were talking, listening to him, or receiving healing. So his disciples felt children were a nuisance and were told not to disturb their master. But when Jesus saw this, he was not happy at all and actually got angry. He called the children and showed everyone that children are intrinsic to the kingdom of God. And the qualities of childhood are the requirements for those who are seeking the greatness to enter the kingdom of God. The status of children in the ancient world was really low. And the disciples of Jesus may not have been wrong to try to turn them back. But Jesus did not conform to this societal norm and actually got angry. This is one of the few moments Mark records Jesus getting angry. Jesus values children and often uses them as examples. So it is, the so it is characteristic of Jesus to defend those who could not defend themselves and to lift up those who have been humbled by others. It is because of this teaching of Jesus that the church is giving importance to the place of children. And we children are blessed to be a part of this generation. And we the children who are a part of Sri Rampur College community, a special Sunday is reserved for us. And we are thankful for this recognition we received today. Let me bring out two crucial points from the chosen text. Firstly, the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. We have said, Children embody innocence and unbounded trust. So Jesus' meaning was that the kingdom of God belonged to people who, though not literally only children, but those who have the quality to, be tr to trust, be receptive to the gospel, and be dependent on God wholly. As we grow into adulthood, we begin to doubt a lot of things and often become too independent so that the faith in God becomes either a mere debate or a lifestyle. This is why Jesus is focusing on children. As adults, we need to come back to that unbounded trust and simplicity that allows the childlike heart to receive the kingdom of God. Secondly, receive such a child in Jesus' name. Human beings are competitive by nature. Every society, ancient or modern, draws out a pecking order. Countries have leaders, states, municipalities, and societies. Even the disciples were not free from this question. They wanted to know who the greatest was and who would sit by Jesus' side. A child, as compared to an adult, is not a symbol of power or authority. A child is not a valued customer, if not for her parents. A child may, will not get good education, clothing, or food, if not given or provided for. A child can only receive gifts and be thankful. 
Jesus surprised the expectations of his disciples by putting a child as an example in front of grown men seeking greatness. Jesus Christ requires this radical change to humility and dependence on his disciples. So when we welcome this child within our hearts, we can only appreciate the true meaning of the kingdom of God. Let the little children come to me is not merely an invitation to play or spend time together. It is an invitation for all of us, regardless of our age, experience, set us to return to that childlike state of faith, surrender, and dependency. In closing, we are called to value children and the qualities of childhood. By embracing children, Jesus called us to remember the qualities we may have lost over time, the qualities of humility, trust, and unbounded love for God and for one another. May God bless each of us through this short meditation. Amen. Thank you, our first preacher. Now I invite in this Sunday school group to... झील से पार के गया आंख उठा के उसने बड़ी भीड़ को देखा शाहिर भी कहने लगे दिन ढल गया रुखसत करो तुमको जान दे खुदा शेर सुने कहा इनको खाने को दो कितना है तुम्हारे पास कहने लगे दो आज रोटी जो मछलियां आज रोटी जो मछलियां आज रोटी जो मछलियां आज रोटी जो हम कैसे खिलाए कितने साथ नार की हम रोटी मंगाए पांच हजार लोगों को हम कैसे खिलाए 
कितने साथ नार की हम जो तुम गाए दिल के डर तो फिर मगर किसी ने ये कहा है यहाँ पे एक लड़का जिसके पास है पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया धन्यवाद प्रभु धन्यवाद यीशु धन्यवाद 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 प्रभु धन्यवाद प्रभु धन्यवाद सास को यीशु मसीह ने सब दिखाया रोटियां भी शुक्र किया बांट के कहा सु मसीह ने सब बिठाया रोटियां ये शुक्र किया बांट दे एक भर के सब ने खाया खत्म ना हुआ हो गए हैरान सारा देख लो जिजा बस गई जहाती पास रोटी दो मछलिया पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया पाँच रोटी दो मछलिया धन्यवाद प्रभु धन्यवाद प्रभु धन्यवाद 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 प्रभु धन्यवाद प्रभु धन्यवाद जीवन की रोटी के साथ खड़े थे विश्वास कम था इसलिए वो डरे थे जीवन की रोटी के साथ खड़े थे विश्वास कम था इसलिए वो डरे थे यीशु के हाथों में दे दो हर बात शक न करो करते रहो सिर्फ धन्यवाद कुछ भी कमी न रह जाएगी जाएगी तो कुछ भी कमी न रह जाएगी धन्यवाद बोलो धन्यवाद बोलो धन्यवाद धन्यवाद scripture reading. The response reading is taken from Genesis chapter 7 verse 1.
Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you alone are righteousness before me in this generation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now I invite English Sunday School group to present their action song. Looking out is a great big world Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing on my mind of all the universe is on my side And if God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? He is my strength, He is my friend forever God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? It's a great big world Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing on my mind Maker of all the universe is on my side And if God is for me Who can be? Who can be against me? God is for me Who can be? Go the way I play God is for me When I just don't understand God is for me When life doesn't go the way I play God is for me And if God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? God is for me Who can be, who can be against me? He is my strength, he is my friend Ooh. 
Now I invite our second preacher, Mr. Yimcha, to take his time. Greetings to you all in the name of Christ our Savior. I thank God, my Sunday school teachers, and all for giving me this privilege to share the Word of God. As we continue to listen to the Word of God, let us all sit prayerfully. I'm sure many of you have seen Alipur Zoo in Kolkata. I also visited when I was very young. It was very colorful and diverse, showcasing animals of different size and shapes, etc. In my imagination, Noah's Ark must have also been like that. Noah and his family were chosen to build an ark and instructed Noah to take two of every kind of animals into the ark along with his family. This act of preservation ensured the survival of life on earth, including children and future generations and inclusivity. The story depicts that the ark was a place of refuge acceptance and inclusivity for people of all backgrounds and ages. The story of Noah's Ark emphasizes the importance of children in the idea of preservation and hope for future generations. So with this, I would like to share three points with us on the team Noah's Ark. First, the story of Noah's Ark highlights the belief that God's love and salvation are offered to all people regardless of their background or differences. The value of responsibility, stewardship, accepting, and earning, earning requests and others, regardless of their differences and empathy for animals and the environment. It talks about treating all individuals with kindness, empathy, and respect and embracing diversity into the world. This also gives us an opportunity to understand the importance of inclusivity tolerance, understanding, and interactions with people from different backgrounds and experiences. God's decision to save Noah and representative samples of all living creatures, regardless of their species or characteristics. It illustrates the idea of God's universal love and care for all of his creation. John 3.16 says, Since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. These verses highlight the idea of God's love being a model for how we should love and care for one another, promoting inclusivity. In that case, children, though they are presumed to be immature. Second, the ark as a symbol of sanctuary. Noah's ark can be seen as a symbol of sanctuary and safety, where animals of every kind find refuge. On the other hand, the ark can also be represented as the church or religious community where people from all walks of life are welcomed and accepted, regardless of their backgrounds. Inclusivity within the community reflects God's desire to welcome and save all who seek Him. This idea can be extended to emphasize the importance of children in a community. The ark provided refuge and protection for both humans and animals during a great time of crisis, the flood. As the story goes, the ark was a place where diverse creatures coexisted in harmony. In this line, the ark is a place 
where children are not only welcomed, but actively nurtured and cared for. Just as animals on the ark were protected and provided for, children within the community are regarded as precious and in need of guidance, protection, and spiritual growth. Children are seen as a vital part of the community's future. Therefore, they should be offered a safe place to learn, grow, and develop their faith. This interpretation encourages the community to prioritize the well-being and spiritual development of children, recognizing them as essential members of the faith community. Psalms 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and source of strength. Noah, Noah's ark being a place of refuge in a time of great trouble, so also God is the ark in whom we get strength and the source. It is not only a sanctuary, but can be interpreted as the kingdom of God. As the first speaker has said in the words of Jesus in Mark chapter 10, verse 14, the kingdom of God belongs to the little children. Children bear the quality of innocence, simplicity, pure in heart, though they are the most vulnerable group. The adults are encouraged to have these qualities to enter the kingdom of God. So in the kingdom of God, there is no discrimination. The young and the adult are all part of the kingdom, for we are all created in the image of God. Third, Noah's role as a caretaker. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work and take care of it. This verse depicts the idea of humans being entrusted with the care of God's creation as stewards. Noah was entrusted with the responsibility of caring for and preserving the diverse animal species. Similarly, we are called to be responsible stewards of younger generation, including children. Psalms 127, three to five also says, children are a heritage from the Lord. Today, we need to create an inclusive and welcoming atmosphere that not only acknowledges the presence of children, but actively engages them in the faith community. Noah's role as a caretaker reflects the community's responsibility to ensure that the children are not only physically present, but also spiritually nurtured and guided within the community. As I conclude, the story of Noah's Ark highlights God's universal love. The church or community as a symbol of sanctuary and the responsibility of caretaking and stewardship. It also teaches the importance of nurturing children and recognizing them as a part of the community. There are many underprivileged children in the society. Many die of malnutrition, different diseases, etc. Children become the victims in the family. Are they not part of God's creation? What can we do? The narrative encourages us to create an environment where all individuals, regardless of their background, feel valued and supported. It challenges us to extend the love, grace, and care that God offers to all, recognizing the image of God in each person. It also calls us to be responsible stewards of the faith, ensuring that the next generation, represented by children, is equipped with the knowledge, love, values necessary for their spiritual growth. Let us all welcome children and be equally partakers in the kingdom of God. May God bless us all. Amen. Thank you, both of our preachers. Now to present their special number, I invite English Sunday School Group.
Shall we all rise up and say the Lord's Prayer together, after which our college chaplain, Reverend Dr. D. Pankar Halder, will, announce, will pronounce the benediction. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship, presence, strength of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and every one of us present here and with our very dear children, both now forevermore. Amen. The time is open for announcements. On behalf of the Chapel and Worship Committee and the entire worshipping community of Sarampur College, we extend a very big thank you to the Sunday School Ministry of Sarampur College for presenting to us a wonderful children Sunday worship this morning. Thanks to Sunday School Super. I, uh, maybe I would like to request the Sunday School Superintendent when I call the name and now all the teachers to stand wherever they are. Thanks to Sunday School Superintendent and all teachers and volunteers, even there were other volunteers and donors, for your dedicated service and level of love for the children ministry in our college. Shall we all stand and give them a big uh, round of applause for all the hard work. Thank you. And once more, thanks to the dear children. Can you give a big clap? Because it will take time to stand. Shall we give a give clap to the children? Wonderful. Uh, we have seen in the past many Sunday, uh, children's Sunday worship service, but this may be one of the best ones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thanks to all those who have arranged this worship place, so nice, Noah's Ark, and even many other things we were noticing, even five, five uh, uh, loaves and two fish singing, dancing, and they were, they fried fish also, they brought here. So that much they did, so much work, and so many preparations, so many arrangements, rearrangements they will be doing, PA system, music and all. We thank you everyone for working your hearts behind this service. Uh, next, Reverend Lal Klan Kimas advisory group will be in charge of the next week for leading and preaching in the morning worship services. Next Sunday, that is 19th November, Reverend Dr. K.K. Chetri will be the preacher and celebrant for the Holy Communion service. The assistants are Anili, June, Bapi and John. Last Sunday's offering was 4,491. We thank God for this. And uh, they have managed, our Sunday school teachers have managed all these expenses with some of their offerings and also a uh, grant from the uh, chapel and worship committee given by the principal. So uh, even if they need more money, <laughs> you can also help some, some of them who are willing because they may be short of money. So some of those who are willing to help them by giving some donations to the Sunday school uh, teachers or superintendent, you, you are free to give. Thank you very much. And, and, if, and if principal has anything to say. I joined the uh, chaplain for appreciating the beautiful 
program that uh, we have just witnessed, Children's Sunday Worship Service. So I thank the superintendent and all the teachers for their hard work. As a parent, uh, I know very well how difficult to look after children, and that is uh, our children. And I see that, uh, I guess that the enrollment is also increasing this year. So it is a big achievement for Sunday School Ministry. So I hope and pray that in the next year, uh, we'll have a better Sunday uh, School Ministry for the children. So I look forward to more cooperation. And I, the, the leaders, uh, is uh, doing very very good job. Thank you, and the true preachers. I guess that they are much better than myself. Hmm, right? So this is a very good thing, and all the uh, uh, special numbers, even the small ones, uh, they are doing a very great job. And I appreciate all the hard work they have rendered. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. First of all, I thank God that he has given us beautiful children. And I congratulate all the children for their wonderful performance. Savi Sunday School students ko unke sundar pradarshan ke liye hardik avinandan and subhakamnaye. On behalf of the Sunday School Ministry, I extend our heartfelt gratitude to our principal sir, Vice Principal Sir, all the faculty members and chapel committee for graciously giving the opportunity, to, opportunity for Sunday school children to lead the Sunday service. We give thanks to our faculty chaplain, Sir Reverend Dr. Dipankar Haldar, for guiding us in various ways. Thank you, Sir, for your uh, such advice and guiding. We thank you all the families and all of you for your support and prayers. Also, we express our gratitude to all the Sunday school teachers for their dedicated efforts and hard work. Our Sunday school teachers from Hindi, Mr. Muthial Raju, Mr. Nalanti Aran, Mrs. Pooja Roy, Mr. Abhijit SB, Mr. Rajesh MP, Mr. Atisha Mani, Mr. Avinash Besra, Mr. Gopinath Maji, Mrs. Purnivadas also. From uh, English Sunday School, Mr. Larchok Mawa, uh, Gospel Bechulai, Ms. Tobikali, Ms. Sangyuna Jamir, uh, Ms. Gran Granaf Evangelin, Ms. Mr. Jasper Dakar, Ms. Agali, All your dedicated efforts in training our children, your commitment to nurturing their spiritual growth is truly commendable. Thank you for your, your imparting valuable lessons and guiding them on the path of wisdom. We appreciate your passion, patience, and love that you have shared. Also, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the decoration team members, Mr. Uh, Aaron, Mr. Mutial Raju, Ms. Mrs. Pooja, Ms. Tobikali, Mr. Atisamani, Mr. Abhijit, Ms. Uh, Granaf Evangeline, and our greatest artist, Mr. Swidlin Jiva, and his wife, and the hard worker, hard labor, who worked so hard for this decoration with Swidlin, Mr. Akash A., also uh, Mr. David Surya. Your selfless efforts have added a vibrant touch to our worship, creating an atmosphere of unity and celebration. We are truly blessed to have such a supportive and dedicated community. Also, sincere thanks to the uh, supporters, those who have uh, financially supported us, Mr. Nalanti Aaron, Jun Cherian, Sudhir Paul, Ujuli, Puja, 
Sangyuna Jamir, Siju Thomas, Atisha Mani, and Gopinath Maji. Also, we want to thank uh, our PA system in charge and all the musicians, those who are helped in uh, our throughout our worship service and those who are helped us in various way. We want to thank all of you. Once again, I thank you all for being a part of this worship service for making this service a beautiful and harmonious occasion. May God bless you all. Thank you. You may just press half of the Sunday. <laughs>